Hi and welcome back to the next lesson. So in this lesson we're going to continue building these these graphs, these line graphs here and I'm going to go and create one for each of the other risk groups. So let's go and add one in here and they're going to be along the top here. Now we're kind of going to have to sort of play with these a little bit um, but maybe need to reduce this slightly. So let's go and just delete this. I'm going to move that. I'm going to actually just make the actual the shapes slightly smaller. Yeah, I think that's going to be that's going to be better here. So let's copy that. I like to make the changes if possible before I copy the the charts, obviously, because then that stops you having to um, having to go and do it to every time you um, you make a change to change four different charts. It's not always possible. Um, okay, so we can just make these slightly smaller. Right, so for each one of these, we're going to put a filter on. So we're going to go into our filters, and we're going to find post mitigation risk group. So the post mitigation risk group, because we only want to show the values. So risk group post mitigation. Here's it here. So add that for that visual. Um, we want this one to show the high values. And we can see everything's automatically changed. We want this one to show the post mitigation risk value. This is probably one of the filters I should have put in before we made the changes. Um, and then post mitigation risk group for the other one. And that's going to be low. So now we can see the trends have updated, the highs and the lows have updated, etc, etc. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to actually specify manually that each one of these starts from zero. Okay, so line charts, it's not it's it's not always the case that you want to show a line chart that starts from zero on the y-axis, but in this example here, I think because these are kind of right up against the top and the bottom, it makes it look a little bit odd, particularly for this one. The other ones seem to be okay with the auto scaling, but I think for these I'm going to start at zero. So let's go into the X axis, or the Y axis, sorry, and I'm going to start that at zero for this one here. Now because I've done one of them starting at zero, I really do need to do them all. I just feel that we need to make sure that it's consistent in how we display our data. And start. And for some of these I do think it's important to see the reference between the, the the, the value and zero. I think the trend is important, but it's also the magnitude is quite important as well. So I'm, I'm happy with that decision. And uh, we can see that, you know, that it's by no means at zero. Um, for certainly for these ones here, that one is a, a little bit closer to zero. So let's go and update the, the titles for each one of these. I'm going to tuck this away again. Let's move that down, go into the title, and we'll call this one here. And we just need to high risk defect trend. This one is going to be medium risk. defect trend and this one here is going to be low risk defect trend. Right, so great, we've now got our trends. Um, it still looks a little bit sparse but we're going to add in a little bit of extra information um, to this. So the the first thing I want to do is I want to sort of add a little bit, a little flash of colour here just to keep the continuity between the colour and the or the colour that was at the um, on the, the previous page, so the risk mitigation analysis. So these colours here for each of the groups, I want to keep that continuity through into this report here. So let's go and add a border around here. So we can go down and we can see that there should be yeah, his border here. So we'll switch the border on, and then we'll scroll down here, and we will hopefully. Okay, we don't have those colours, I'll go and copy those colours. 
Okay, so red is this color here. And we can see we've got a border here. And I'll add the colors to the other ones. I'll pause this video and add the colors to the other ones. Okay, so I've added the colors in. Um, we are going to add this a little bit. It's, it's a little too subtle just now, but we will continue to do some formatting. So I'm just going to add those in for just now. And what I want to be able to do is hold down shift and I just want to make sure that the... I hold down control, sorry. And I want to just format these and align and want to distribute these horizontally. It looks like it's done anyway, so I'll make sure that, the, that, that there's a, a common spacing between the three of these. Now each one of these, I've adjusted the height and the width to be 400 wide and 170 high, and that just kind of keeps them all looking, looking similar. Okay, so that is all for this particular lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to start to add in some of our custom commentary and that is going to be using uh, some measures to create some text that's going to explain what's exactly is happening with each one of these trends. I'll talk to you then.